COVID-19 has now taken 800,000 Americans and counting. The Delta variant continues to make up for about 97% of new cases, and Omicron is now confirmed in over half the country. And this is what we're getting from the CDC, ranking California as having the highest level of transmission and is approaching a statewide death toll of 75,000. I want to bring in California Congressman Raul Ruiz. Sir, thank you for being here. What, what, when you hear numbers like that about your state, you all have a vaccination rate around 65%. That's in the top 20 in the country, but still, is that not good enough? Well, you know, for any physician and for any parent, of course, it's not good enough because we want to see better. We always want to see better and protect our loved ones. Uh, we have to keep in mind, though, that the Omicron virus was first detected in California. Therefore, in terms of its spread, it's going to spread from there uh, and out to the rest of the country, which is already has, as you just previously mentioned. The second thing is that California is very populated, so we're in big cities that are very dense. There are some areas in California that are more suburban or rural that don't have as high of a transmission rate. But here's the point, TJ, is that we're at the cusp of a ver of another surge with the Omicron. So the key is to get vaccinated fully, including the boosters, those ha that have received the two or the one dose uh, uh, vaccines, now need to get their boost and in states that have higher vaccination rates, they have lower hospitalization rate and, uh, and severity in, in, uh, in, in the illnesses of, uh, of the coronavirus. You're not just a congressman, you're also a physician, you're a doctor, and I know that you have been going out there on the ground, you've been vaccinating farmers, field workers, you've been educating them. There's a mask mandate now in place in your state, but as you uh, just mentioned, and we've heard from the CDC, they are expecting a tidal wave of new infections uh, uh, in just the next few weeks and months to come. So is your state prepared? What more can be done? You know, for, 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 the, for starters, I believe that we need to get ahead of surges because if you're just acting and reacting, uh, then you're going to be about three or four weeks behind the severity of a surge. So you need to anticipate and get ahead of it in order to mitigate it uh, so it doesn't get as bad as it could get. And the mask mandate in indoor settings is a good idea. Uh, also doing more vaccination campaigns into the hardest hit regions and and getting businesses to encourage their employees to get the boosters is a good idea. And also uh, parents getting their children vaccinated so that schools don't have to close and quarantine uh, children and, and, and go back into the uh, virtual learning mode that was so difficult for many parents around the country. You just mentioned kids there, and uh, there was a story out of uh, Los Angeles, the second largest school district in the country, LA Unified School District, had a put a vaccine mandate in place, and they had until January to get it done. But there were a number of 34,000 kids did not were not going to be able to meet that in time, so they were not going to be allowed on campus. Well, they have now overturned, and they're delaying that vaccine mandate. So you're going to have 34,000 kids now not vaccinated who are going to be in that school community. Where, where do we find that balance? Do you think that was the right call to delay? Or, you know, at this point, those 34,000 are now going to be possibly uh, mixing in with other vaccinated kids, and maybe that's not a great, great idea either. You know, I'm a physician and a congressman, uh, but if I were a school board member in the L.A. County, I would really do a very concentrated effort in really educating those individual students, parents, about the importance of getting vaccinated. The more that kids are vaccinated, uh, the more that they'll be protected from having to shut down the schools and going back to virtual learning. So this is a win-win-win for everybody. Uh, so I would really encourage parents out there to, to really uh, think about if your child is eligible to get the vaccine and your physicians give the green light, then please go ahead and, and uh, vaccinate your children. It's for the community. It's for for the greater good and it's for the best of uh, for your child. Well, Congressman Ruiz, we got you here as a congressman, but I guess we can have you back here as a, as a physician to talk uh, <laughs> to us as well. Uh, we do appreciate the time. I know you all are going through it out there, so we're certainly the best to all the folks in California. We'll check in with you down the road, okay? Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.